Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to continue talking about the NPCs in Stardew Valley. Last time we covered Emily, another candidate for the wizard's daughter, and I mean kind of who isn't at this point. And today we're going to look at Elliot. Elliot gets a lot of attention in the Stardew community, or at least in the communities that I'm a part of, but it's kind of up and down with him. People seem to either love him or hate him. <laughs> Let's dig into some of his heart scenes and dialogue and talk about this possibly misunderstood writer. Elliot lives just outside of town in a small shack on the beach. His address is Elliot's Cabin, which is amazing to me. I love the random addresses in this game. Despite looking from the outside like a little storage hut, Elliot's Cabin is surprisingly homey inside. He's got a little writing desk, a single bed, some minor decorations, and a whole upright piano. I'm pretty sure that salty sea air is specifically quite bad for piano strings and keys, but you know, you do you, Elliot. And one thing you may already know about this piano is that if you play the first eight notes of the Stardew Valley theme song while Elliot is over at his desk, he'll turn toward you and display a heart emote. Pretty cute. Just a quick reminder as we get rolling, if you like the videos I make, consider subscribing to the channel and leaving me a comment letting me know what you want to see next. And if you want to help me afford a beachside property in an idyllic farming town, you can even consider picking up a channel membership or joining my Patreon from the link in the video description. So Elliot moved out to the valley to get inspiration for his writing project, right? He's dreamed of being an author ever since he was a child and hopes that sequestering himself in this little shack will somehow encourage those creative juices. In my experience, attempting to jam through any kind of creative work tends to make it suffer in quality, but listen, I'm just some dude banging away at a keyboard, so what do I know? In Elliot's Two Heart scene, he explains all this to the player, and you get to choose what kind of novels you prefer. Since this is a video game, you can be assured that this decision is important. Just like with Sam's Band, your decision here determines what kind of book Elliot will write. Which also implies that until you're at Two Hearts with Elliot and you see this scene, he's kind of just existing in the valley, and not working on the project that he eventually showcases later in your relationship. I think this is a good introduction to Elliot. Many Two Heart scenes give you a kind of high level view of the character, and Elliot's is no different. Nothing here makes him seem arrogant, pompous, pretentious, or any of the other words I've seen used to describe the author. But that's gonna change soon. When you've reached Four Hearts with Elliot, you can enter the saloon on any afternoon when Gus is working to view our next scene. Gus sees you come in and tells you that it's going to be a minute before he can help you. Before he gets back to you though, Elliot sidles up to the counter and says, Bartender, two of your finest ales, please. This is the scene that kind of sours me on Elliot. There are only like three dozen people in all of Stardew Valley, and unless you're close with Leah, Elliot goes to the saloon twice a week. There's no reason Elliot shouldn't know Gus's name, and the fact that Gus calls Elliot Sir when providing the drinks makes me think that there might be some kind of weirdness in that relationship. Plus, when you have the resort on Ginger Island Unlock, he does call Gus by his name in at least one dialogue that I know of, so what's the point here? Are you trying to look cool for the farmer? Or am I just taking it too personally as someone who has been talked down to a lot in former jobs? I don't know. You let me know in the comments, but it feels icky to me. On the topic of people not valuing you or your work, I think Six Hearts could kind of go either way. When you stop by his house, Elliot will be playing the piano. It's a neat little intro, but the important part of the scene is, of course, the conversation. He'll tell you that he's driving himself insane working on his book, and he kind of wants to throw it all away and become a farmer like you. I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting a change of scenery, and if you tell him that your work is actually quite difficult, he pulls back a bit. He recognizes that it was insensitive of him to imply that your work is less challenging or important than his, and he explains that he just wants to experience life outside of his musty little shack. On the one hand, I get this. Chaining yourself to the desk until you make something you're happy with is no way to live. But Elliot also chose this himself, and just kind of seems to think the grass is always greener. He mentions in a normal, just fall dialogue that he's envious of the player since his legs are stiff from sitting all night and he talks about his fears of growing old alone as a hermit on the beach. I think Elliot has placed an expectation on himself that success in writing dictates his success in life, which I get. It's hard not to put your all into your work and see the outcome as a reflection of your ability. But he also talks about how people don't read anymore, and how maintaining his hair is mostly about his own vanity at this point. All of these things are fine. 
But all of these things together, coupled with his choice of words and conversations with Gus and with the player, make me think he's got a little bit of a superiority complex and or a chip on his shoulder. It's not just that he has to write a good book to be successful. It's that writing a good book shows to everyone that he's successful, even those kids back home who told him he couldn't do it. I do think that Elliot has the best intentions, and he's a very, very sweet spouse to the player. So maybe I'm seeing something that isn't there. But something about his attitude makes me think of a person who treats you with all the love, care, and compassion in the world, but only after they've determined your value. At Eight Hearts, you can enter the museum on any afternoon to attend a public reading of Elliot's completed novel. This is the follow-up to your selection at Two Hearts, so your choice there determines which book Elliot ultimately writes. Regardless of your choice, Elliot will read through the first few lines of the first chapter before the screen fades to black. When we fade back in, Elliot is wrapping up his reading. He'll thank everyone for coming, then check to see if you liked it. It's a good thing you automatically give him a happy emote here because he dedicated the book to you, and he wrote it based on your favorite genre. I think it's sweet of him to dedicate the book to the player, but I honestly don't have very strong feelings about this scene. I think it's a good scene, but if I were choosing between Elliot and another marriage candidate based on their eight heart scenes, I don't think that this one would sway me. I don't even know if that makes sense. Hopefully you get it. Elliot's ten heart scene, though, is... interesting. He invites you to join him on the maiden voyage of a rowboat that he fixed up. At this point, you're at the very least dating, and you're possibly engaged, so I think it wouldn't be too far-fetched to be comfortable out in a boat with someone you're that close with. I've seen comments about this scene and consent, and I think that's fair. It's kind of a because of the implication type moment to try to turn someone down when they have power over your transportation and safety. I don't think that's really the point. I mean, I know that's not the point. I think Elliot is just trying to do something he sees as romantic and then awkwardly making the first move on the farmer. Not to mention, he does back off if you tell him you're uncomfortable. I just think it would be very challenging to voice that opinion in real life face to face. Either way though, if you reciprocate his feelings, he'll tell you on the way back to shore that the valley finally looks like home to him. This scene has always been a weird one for me, but I think it's intended to just be a moving moment. All the Ten Heart scenes have that, like, suspension bridge effect to some extent. There's always an element of excitement, like in Shane or Emily's scenes, or intimacy, like Penny and Elliot's here. Regardless, it doesn't make me swoon for Elliot. <laughs> However, the addition of his 14 heart scene in the 1.4 update was possibly the best addition to any marriage candidate. He goes on a book tour for a week, leaving you behind on the farm to go to Grampleton and Zuzu City to sign autographs and do more readings. That's all well and good, but he also writes you a letter every day that he's gone. You can tell that Elliot is deeply in love with the farmer at this point, and it's obvious that he's excited to come back home to be with you. I think this is possibly one of my favorite 14 heart scenes, even though it doesn't make changes to the world like Alex or Abigail's scenes, or give you new stuff like Emily, Leah, or Penny's. I just feel much more connected to Elliot after this one, and I think that was exactly what this marriage route needed. I'm gonna be honest with you, I still don't like him though. <laughs> what do you think about Elliot? Is he a condescending snob, or is he just an awkward author trying to speak his flowery thoughts out into the world? Let me know down in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.